everyone, in this video I'll show you how to run descriptive statistics using R Studio. Let's start by reading our income uh, data uh, file. So I'm going to call it or store it under the name income and then read.csv. And the second argument is header equals to true. Third is As we read the data file, we need to run descriptive statistics. We can use the function stat from statistics that description is not available. This is because the package under which this function is available is not uh, activated. And this package name is uh, Pastix. You can first install the package if you don't have it by using install dot uh, packages and then just in quote type the name of the package right there and then after you do this you could use the library and the name of the package which is over here. I'm going to type it just in case. Okay, it's right here. Another option, if you have it already downloaded, if you're doing this for the second time for practice, what you need to do is simply click the package. And now you try to type stat from disk and you'll find it available. Is the feeded the function uh, the, uh, the sorry the variable name and here is the descriptive statistics the way it is uh, presented is very unfriendly these numbers are in the following format digit here with all decimals and then multiplied by 100 if it's plus 0 2 multiplied by 10 if it's plus zero one, so basically this is how many zeros in there. There's two zeros for hundred, one zero for a ten, four zeros over here. So you have to give it. So this sum is actually three thousand seven hundred sixty-three point seven. We need to round these um, these values. We can do this by using the round variable, and then feed it the stat the description and income over here. Now, I would like to run this as is and then I'll show you a way to add or specify the number of decimals. So for now, you can see it uh, prompts me or, or uh, gave me an output of all digits. Uh, quite uh, interesting that the mean is 38. It's a discrete number, but maybe there are some decimals here. So. Let's uh, round it into two decimal places. So round stat disk income and give it a two decimal places over here. The second argument, which is after a, 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 a comma, is two. Interesting. So now we have the total number of observations is 998. The minimum is 21. Maximum here. And the mean, for example, is 37.71. Here is the, this is the standard error and the confidence interval. We didn't cover this yet in class. There's the variable, the variance here, the standard deviation, and then lastly, the coefficient of variance. Maybe you notice that there is no mode. In fact, uh, there is no R built-in function for the mode. So you need to run couple of lines to find the mode through R. Okay, as for now, let me show you how to create a histogram. 
so that we can examine the data distribution. So now we're talking about the data distribution visually. We need to use the hest function, which gives us a histogram, or the output will be a histogram plot, and the output will be uh, 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 prompted in this area. We don't have to actually click on this tab. It will automatically open, automatically open up the tab with the output. But this hist function is actually under a package called histogram. Again, I already downloaded this package before, so it should be here. And I can just click or check or tick this, and then the histogram package will be activated. But in your case, if you are downloading this for the first time, and histogram and then and well it's installing it again okay thank you so much it's already there I should have just uh, ticked it and then you need to just type in like histogram so now we can use the hist function so hist and income this might not work actually it wouldn't work because it will prompt me an error that uh, it should be numeric. So for this function, we need to tell R that this is the variable name. We need to specify the variable name for this function. So this is a histogram and income here. And with a dollar sign, it is followed by the file name. So for now, I have only one variable for you in this file. If this file includes more than one variable, then you will start with the variable name or the column name, dollar sign, and then the file name. Then we hit in, in, enter, and then we will be having we'll have a histogram of income, income, blah blah blah. We need to change this title and to change this as well. The x-axis. Uh, uh, um, so what we need to do is we need to run the following code. Now it is very important that I first explain the code. Now the meat of the code is this. It uses, it stores the histogram in a, an in an H variable, and this is the function histogram. The hist hist function hist function for histogram it's it's fed with the first argument which is the data set or the data. The variable it is x here which is our x here this x is actually defined previously as our income variable in the income file now why did we why did, did we do that and why didn't i copy this whole thing and just paste it wherever i used an x in the code because i would like you to keep this code so that you can use it for the future Use it with other variables very easily by only changing this. So basically, if you want to use or if you want to uh, uh, produce or create this kind of graph, a histogram, colored histogram with a different title and with the uh, normal distribution curve, then what you need to do is basically change this and the, way, the, 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 the definition of x, what x is. All right, let me go ahead and copy this whole syntax and let me paste it here so that I can easily copy and paste that, All right? So here first, I just saying that X is defined as the income variable and H is a hist function. So now it created a histogram, a histogram with normal curve. You can see that I told it that uh, it is called annual income, the x-axis here, x-lab is annual income, main, which is the title here, is histogram with normal curve, All right? You can easily read this code. This will tell you the length of the line, okay. the x-fit, and this will tell you the y-fit. This is the denorm, the, the distribution, the normal distribution here of this uh, line. And finally, we can now 
I draw the line and it's in color navy blue so here we go now we ended up with a distribution line or a normal distribution line here we talked a little bit about what a normal line or distribution looks like which is like a bell curve so basically this is how to create a histogram with this normal distribution line and this is the end of today's 